What's going on guys, it's your boy Darth Eternal here with the latest Star Wars news, but before we do get into that, remember, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know. Also, go check out my last video as it was a good one, so give it a thumbs up as you watch. Let's start today's show because we have some big news today. So today we're going to be talking about Kenobi and his final battle with Darth Maul and how it was shockingly quick. But again, they're bringing out the reason why it's so relevant now is because in the issue two of the Kenobi comic book, we get to see an older Kenobi reminiscing about his final battle with Darth Maul in the desert of Tatooine. And Ben remembers that with great darkness and shadow comes sadness as he is laying dying. And I felt the horror inside of him witnessed it in his eyes. Ben is referring to Darth Maul's final death in Star Wars Rebels with Maul when he challenged Kenobi who was quickly defeated you know the Sith Lord in only just three moves and again we know that Maul had lost everything right when you see that fear in Maul's eyes he was once a Sith Lord only to be cut you know down at the height of his greatness. He had spent decades hunting Kenobi for vengeance for what? he did to him after all those years you know his hatred wore on him by their final duel he was a broken man i mean what could you expect right obi-wan stood in the same shoes a jedi master council member grand general of the republic he had finally defeated his greatest threat grievous right only to be betrayed minutes later and forced to hide like a rat in the desert and yet, Obi-Wan wasn't defeated. Look at what I have risen above, he told Maul. Maul lost quickly because again, Kenobi knew exactly what he was going to do. He copied his exact move he used to kill Obi-Wan's master, Qui-Gon. And we saw that, right? And Obi-Wan used that knowledge to strike Maul down as soon as possible. And at the end, it wasn't a heroic moment. Obi-Wan wasn't relieved to, you know, be rid of his threat. Instead, he was sad for the defeated man before him. He comforted his greatest enemy in his final moments. And the comic reveals that, you know, seeing Obi-Wan's, you know, fast defeat, you know, against Maul. And it wasn't, again, simply out of desire to protect Luke. You know, Kenobi felt Maul's palpable fear even before the two clashed swords, right? And the speed at which, you know, he made sure of work for the Sith Lord was no mercy. Not again a vengeful tactic at all. But again the duel itself was not long and we know that and it came quick. And one of the things you notice is that you know and you really feel and you really sense the fear in Maul you know was the last thing that he says is tell me is he the chosen one and Obi-Wan answers he is and Maul's last words are he will avenge us. Talking about Luke that he will avenge and he will bring balance to the force as there has been so much darkness for such a long time but again we know that luke comes you know in a new hope in just a few years after obviously star wars rebels and rogue one so again it, this 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 one definitely brings some kind of it sheds some light to the the battle and hearing kenobi reminiscing about it in these new comic series that i really really enjoy you guys should go get it this is issue number two but comment down below let me know what you think about hearing kenobi or shall i say ben kenobi talking about it and reminiscing and finally getting that kind of clarity as to you know what he really sensed and what he felt from Maul and seeing it right and now we get to hear it from kenobi's point of view as he's writing this down in his little memoir right so again, comment down below. What do you do? You enjoy hearing, you know, Kenobi write all these things down and learning about his battles, you know, from the Clone Wars, even to when he was a child, because issue number one talks about when Kenobi was just a young Padawan as a child, or shall I say youngling, into a Padawan, into a form, into finally a Jedi Master, and the rest goes on. But anyway, guys, comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this news. And let me know if you're actually gonna go out and buy the comic, because there's only this is issue number two, so don't you know i'm pretty sure issue one is still out there but i know i'm getting my hands on issue number two and let me know if you get the second one as well guys but anyway hit that subscribe like and notification bell so you're always in the know and stay tuned as i have another video out tomorrow later guys